Welcome to episode 1368, Fred Essam, 33-year-old crypto billionaire, nine lessons. This is an outline of episode 1368, lesson one to five. This is lesson six to nine. Lesson one, follow your curiosity. The biggest thing that came to my mind is follow your curiosity. That's been the biggest through line in my life. And now, why follow your curiosity? Well, to give you a little bit of background on my life story, uh, Bitcoin didn't even exist when I was an undergrad at Duke. And two, the three cycles of crypto and where we are now. The development, the first is a new digital money. The second is a new financial system. The third is a new broad internet application platform. If I had to guess, we're probably order of magnitude 10% into a new digital money. We're maybe one tenth of 1% into a new financial system. And we are effectively at zero on a new internet application platform. Lesson three, a small group of people with conviction. Uh, painting of a wizard that said magical internet money. Uh, so very, very non-obvious at the time. The thing though that really stood out is the community was extremely strong, even though it was small. So while it seemed crazy to most outsiders at the time, it was clearly growing on the inside. And four, the willow is highly malleable and has been created and recreated every day. You're gonna go into the world and there are gonna be a lot of people who have very specific ideas about how the world works. I think it works a certain way, it's set in stone. Spoiler alert, that's not true at all. The world is highly malleable. It's being created and recreated every day by people who are no smarter than you and me. Lesson five, asking questions are more important than answers. Asking questions is more important than answers oftentimes. I have a theory that the smartest people in every single field are philosophers. They're just applied philosophers through whatever their craft is. They're asking questions and trying to answer it every single day, whether it's through writing a song, writing a new recursive algorithm, uh, dissecting a financial market, it doesn't matter. Since six, what he learned from playing thousands of hours of World of Warcraft. It started for me before I even matriculated at Duke. I spent 4,000 hours in World of Warcraft my mom, needless to say, was not very happy about this. But I did learn about digital worlds and digital currencies, and that came to become very important for me later on. Lesson seven, the opportunity for Coinbase came in 2014. Yeah, more than 450 million Bitcoins were stolen or missing before Mangos went bankrupt. Lesson eight, always partners with somebody. His first partner was Brian Armstrong. His second partner, Y Combinator, 2012. His third partner, Matt Wang, 2017. Lesson nine, the underlying technology of crypto, from blockchain to DeFi. DeFi has gone from zero to $100 billion in user assets in this new financial system for the last three years. That's been really impressive exponential growth to this point. Of course, with lots of bumps along the way, and there'll be a lot of bumps in the future. Well, $100 billion is nothing. It's not even a drop in the bucket compared to the hundreds of trillions in the traditional financial system. So like, if you think about this on a multi-decade horizon, we're so, 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 so early still. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, leave your questions and comments below. Wishing everyone peace and prosperity.